My, my passion um, for sepsis has started when I started my uh, doctoral research and part of my research was done at the DMC so we've been very actively involved with sepsis and improving sepsis care. From a personal standpoint I actually lost my brother this year to sepsis. Um, he was a young gentleman, 46 years old, was diabetic and was on steroids, two things that really increase your risk of sepsis. The problem with him is that he presented to the hospital very late with his sepsis. He had a little nick on his arm, he developed the flesh-eating bacteria, arrived at the emergency room with uh, his kidneys already in failure by the time he arrived at the emergency room. Um, within several hours he was rushed to the operating room, was on um, many medications, but in spite of all the good medical care, he died. And the reason he died was he presented to the emergency room late about 48 hours after his sepsis started. So sepsis kills regardless of age, race, sex, economic status, it kills everybody equally. Um, the only way to stop sepsis in its track is to recognize the signs and symptoms early and to get to an emergency room um, so that you can be treated very, very quickly for your sepsis. The signs and symptoms of sepsis are very subtle and often they mimic many other things. They're a little bit faster respiratory rate, so you're breathing a little faster. Might be a heart rate that's a little bit faster than normal. It could be an elevation in your white blood cell count or it can be a low white blood cell count and a fever, so either a high temperature or a low temperature. Things that are often easily overlooked because we have many reasons to explain why we might have a faster heart rate than normal or why someone might be breathing a little bit faster than normal. The DMC and Tenant Health System have adopted the model of no sepsis and it's no spelled K-N-O-W um, with the no being emphasized because our goal is for everyone to be aware or knowledgeable about sepsis and then for us to stop sepsis in its track so that patients don't die. Because if we identify sepsis early and treat patients quickly, the mortality rate or the death rate from sepsis drops substantially.